I got this HP EliteBook 830G5 13-inch laptop. It's refurbished from business use from Elisa and I'm replacing my old bigger laptop which didn't fit in my camera bag so this is 13 inch so it will fit in my camera bag and it's easier to carry around. Now I have logged in with my Microsoft account and it's installing many updates. After it's complete I will install my Adobe software like Photoshop Premiere and Lightroom. They should work fine, but I, I'm really wanting to test this before I sell my old laptop away, so it's very important to get photo editing and video editing done with this. Setting up a new phone is much easier because you can get tabs from old phones and it doesn't have so many updates usually. This is taking so long to update the windows so I think I'll make some coffee and wait for it. To be honest I think I won't do much video editing with this computer. I have HP desktop PC which is much power, more powerful so I will use that for video editing longer videos but Premiere Rush and apps like that I think this will be fine for that. I may edit this video with this PC to just test it and see what it what it's capable of. I was traveling recently and I noticed that I have many chargers so I'm hoping that I can charge this with a USB-C dongle or something like that to add many devices like watches and phones and cameras via USB so so, so I hope to travel again soon while traveling I used external hard drive to back up my photos and videos in the middle of the trip so I appreciate that I can carry around a laptop. I have no use for tablet so much, I have an older iPad but it's not I don't use it so often. It's only for reading stuff and maybe light internet use, but laptop is much more important for me. I can get the job done with this and in case I have to do some Teams calls or something, I like that the webcam is above the screen or display because on my last Huawei laptop it was on the level with the keyboard so it had the low angle view right up my nose so when I was first introduced to Photoshop I used iMac in school, art school so it was one of those big ones with the display it was very big like CRT display and, and I have used Adobe software since to date so it's very difficult to stop using Adobe software I'm like depending on it so much but I don't use Mac computers I have used PC so long so I'm not familiar anymore with Mac OS or anything like that but I think this is by the design it looks very nice so no shame in that even I think the uh, uh, Apple does very good job with design but this is very nice I like the silver color and it says Bang and Olufsen speakers I think and it got a fingerprint reader and touchpad is right size so it's not too big or too small so 
very, very pleased with the design of this device. Now I'm ready to install Lightroom and Photoshop and Premiere, so let's see how that goes. This laptop is warming up. It's smaller laptop, so I think the ventilation isn't as good as it is on bigger laptops, but I hope it works with Photoshop and Premiere. One fault was that they said it had two USB-C ports, but I don't know what this is, but it isn't a USB-C port, so luckily I have this Domla which has two USB-C ports and two USB-A ports and memory card readers, so I will use this, it's okay. I have to find out what this port here is. It's possibly something something I have never used before. I started using computers when I was a kid with Commodore computers like C128 and Amiga 500, so quite a change from those days, but <laughs> is it, this is fine, this is fine. Now Lightroom is installed, so soon I will be able to edit this video and see what it looks like. I don't think this is a review, it's only a kind of a blog that I got a new computer. I will have to test if this really fits in my camera bag, but it looks like it does. I have the measurements made, so it should fit in my camera bag. I will just need to take my tablet away, which I didn't use for photo, ed photo editing at all. So.